Good afternoon and aloha. You know, 13 days, 13 years ago today, our, our skies fell silent here in Honolulu and throughout Hawaii. No planes came, no planes left, and there was real silence in our land. And the flags came out, not only here, but across this great country. American flags flew in every neighborhood. And we stood as one nation, every American, together in tragedy, in grief, and in strength. And I went and looked at the paper from that day in the Honolulu Star Advertiser, or I think it was Star Bulletin actually, it had the picture of the tower, World Trade Center tower, with a plane hitting and the flames shooting out. But what got my heart and brought tears to my eyes was a picture on the bottom side of the fold of two women who were looking at the tower. You could not see them looking at the tower. One of them with grief in her face, grimace on her face, and the other woman collapsing into her arms in shock at what they were witnessing. Not believing that something like this could happen. And all of us can relate to that picture and all of us have seen pictures like that. It's been thir 13 years since that day. We came together as a nation. We fought as a nation. And we went into places like Iraq and Afghanistan to get the bad guys. The bad guys still exist. We see it in ISIL and the horrific beheadings that have taken place in the past couple weeks to American journalists. Beyond belief with what we witness. And it reminds me that we need to remain strong but we also need to hold peace in our heart because much about this day is also about peace. For me, I really like this quote by Martin Luther King Jr. when he said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. We cannot give into the endless cycle of hatred and darkness. We need to live with this aloha spirit that we all hold in our hearts here. And as I stand here in the very center of the city and county of Honolulu, on royal grounds, this land we stand on today was the house called Haleakala, the home of Abner Paki and his wife and their princess, Bernice Pawati. We heard our Royal Hawaiian Band play on this sacred ground today in this most incredible place in our city. With all of you, the citizens of the city and county of Honolulu, standing together 13 years later not going to lunch, not going to Starbucks, not staying in your office and doing your work, but coming here to share together in that spirit of aloha that we carry in our heart. And I believe that we're on to the right thing and that we, we remain a beacon of light in the middle of the Pacific where we talk about peace and trying to find a, the more about our differences and bring us together and break that cycle of hatred. We are about letting that light shine brightly. But again, I want to emphasize, we must remain strong. And for the mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, what this means is supporting our first responders who are standing with us here today starting with the Chief of Police, Louis Kealoha, and his deputy, and the fine officers standing here to my left. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Thanks. 
our firefighters, led by Chief Manuel Nevis. Our firefighters who are standing in both white and in blue, please give them a round of applause. And our emergency medical service responders, the EMTs, the paramedics, led by Mark Reagan, his deputy. Please give them a round of applause. These men and women, when they were in New York on that fateful day, around the Pentagon, ran to danger while everyone was fleeing away from these sites. They ran up the towers, climbed the stairs, carrying heavy 50-pound packs on their back while people were streaming in terror out, never to return home to their families. Our first responders here in Honolulu do that too. They put their lives on the line every day for us to make us one of the safest big cities in the United States of America. And we're appreciative and when you see them go up and give them a hug, tell them you love them and you appreciate what they do for us as heroes unrecognized. Thank you. And finally, our men and women who serve our country in the military, all branches of government, all branches, who, while we go to bed here in this most beautiful place, are on the front lines protecting us, sacrificing beyond ways we could ever understand, away from their loved ones. And they're represented here today, standing in the audience. You know who they are. Please give them a round of applause. I am so proud to be the mayor of the city of County of Honolulu, to stand with these first responders. I am so proud to be an American, to stand with our armed forces in what they do. And I want to thank each and every one of you for caring enough to take some time out of your busy day to reflect on the meaning of this day and to find peace in your heart, to take it to some other person to find a way to break that cycle of hatred and yet show absolute support to all of our first responders and our armed forces. Thank you so much. Love each and one of you. Aloha and mahalo.